Hello everyone! In this week's video, I'm redrawing my sister's art from description only. This started as a game my sister and I used to play together. We would draw things in our sketchbook and then describe them to each other. We would then have to try to draw the other person's drawings and get as close to the original as possible based on just the descriptions. So this week, my sister wrote down descriptions of two drawings from her sketchbook, and I wrote down two descriptions of drawings from my sketchbook. My sister has posted a video on her channel redrawing my art from description only, so make sure to check out her video after this video. The last time my sister and I did this, my drawings were really different from hers, so I'm hoping I'll get closer this time around. Anyways, let's get drawing. For this video, I'm drawing on my iPad. I often do this for these kinds of videos. Plus, it's been a while since I last drew on my iPad, and it sounded like fun to change things up. I am using the app Ibis Paint X, as I usually do. Oh, also, when this little chibi pops up, it means I'm reading from my sister's description. It's not always easy to tell when I'm reading from the description. I try to make it obvious, uh, but the chibi makes it super easy to know. Uh, so anyways, let's see what she has to say. If I say aside, I mean our left and right. I sketched this in a blue color. It's a little on the gray side. Pose type, thigh up. Gender, female. Age, teens. Head, three-quarter, kind of. But it's not an accurate three-quarter view. So her head is just turned to the right, I guess. Torso. Her body has a kind of curve flow. Head more left, body right, then left. Sorry if this doesn't help. And is turned to the right. A bit like the head. So her shoulders are kind of back and are tilted. But just a little for flow. The left shoulder is the lower one. The whole her head more left and body right than left really confused me and I didn't really understand it. Uh, Bregan said it doesn't matter much so I kept going. <laughs> she said it was more to do with the flow of the pose so yeah I feel like I figured it out but I'm not totally sure. Uh, for the legs we can't see her legs. This is because of the skirt that Reagan mentions later. Arms. The right arm is up holding a rose. And her left arm is going back, and the top of the left hand is kind of facing towards us. We can't see her thumb, her dress is covering it. So yeah, I just sketched out the pose as Reagan described it. It's kind of funny because I can feel really confident that I have the pose right. But in the past I've been proven wrong. <laughs> so I'm hoping I read and understood everything correctly this time. Also, like I said, it has been a while since I last drew on my iPad, and I was very much getting used to it again with this picture. When I flipped my canvas, I noticed how skewed my sketch was, and I tried to fix that. As usual, when I am drawing with my camera set up, I tend to hold my head in an odd position, uh, cause the camera's kinda right in my face. So it makes my drawing end up being really skewed. I tried my best to not continue to do that. I try to keep looking straight on at my iPad. Uh, for the expression, she is smiling at us with a pleasant smile. Her eyebrows are tilting up and are on the thicker side and her eyes are round and flat at the bottom from her smiling. Also, I feel like I should make it be known early in the video that I do know that I can screen record my iPad. A lot of people tell me about this when I record my iPad with my camera. So yeah, I do know that I can screen record and I actually will be in a bit, but when I'm on my iPad, I like to change things up and let you all see the process in a different way compared to when I'm working on my PC. I like being able to show you my hand and how it moves around and draws. It's just kind of a fun way to change things up. Uh, but thank you to all of you who were trying to help me. <laughs> For the hair, her hair is short. It's about mid neck length, maybe longer, and is in a half up, half down hairstyle. She has two pigtails on almost the top of her head. Her pigtails are pretty thick. Most of her hair is flowy, but her bangs are not. Her bangs end up at the top of her eyes and are parted on the left. The hair part does the M shape. Oh, you know what? I interpreted this wrong, I think. I think it's supposed to have the two under bits for the bangs, but I interpret it as the bangs are making an M shape. Not that the hair part is making an M shape. Oh no. Uh, I always understand things I feel like when I'm reading through the description for a video, but when I'm reading it myself, when I'm drawing the art, I tend to miss things. Aw, well I probably got the bangs wrong then. Uh, anyways, the sideburns, I don't know what to call them, and at her mouth. They are straight like the bangs. So I think I drew the sideburns correctly in this rough sketch, but for some reason during cleanup I decided to change them and make them flowy like the rest of the hair. I guess I forgot the part about them maybe not being flowy and being straight like the bangs. So yeah, I think I got the sideburns wrong later. I should have kept them like this. 
For the clothes, she is wearing an off-the-shoulder dress. The top goes in a straight line and has a big ruffle across her chest and arms. The ruffle ends at about under her chest. Underneath, the ruffle is fitted to her body and starts to go into a V shape. High up on her waist, the V is kind of deep. Okay, so this part was confusing me mostly because of this comma here in the sentence. I was reading it as underneath comma, the ruffle is fitted to her body. So this was making me think that there is another ruffle after the first ruffle. But I didn't understand how a ruffle could be fitted to the body. I questioned Reagan about this and she said that there isn't another ruffle. It's supposed to read as underneath the ruffle, it is fitted to her body. Uh, I said, yeah, I don't know if any of this makes sense, but long story short, there's only one ruffle. <laughs> Anyways, back to the clothes. The sleeves are long, they are fitted and then get flowy at the elbow. They cover a bit of the left hand and on the right arm, the sleeve is flowing down. For the skirt, it is short and full. It flows to the left and is gathered a bit at the top or pleated. She has a short pearl necklace slash choker and a pearl bracelet on the right hand. Oh no, I totally missed the thing about the necklace and choker. I still haven't shown Reagan the picture yet, so maybe I'll add it in real quick before showing it to her. That's such a dumb detail for me to miss. I don't know how I didn't notice that one. Uh, so you'll not be seeing that in the footage, but I will add them in before showing Reagan. <laughs> I know I technically maybe could go back and also change the bangs, but that would be more complicated, so I'm not going to. Uh, now we're on to the cleanup phase. As usual with these description drawings, I will be keeping them sketchier and less finished since I'm redrawing sketches from Regan's sketchbook. I do feel like I spent a little too much time keeping things cleaner for this drawing. I probably could have been looser, but like I said, I was getting used to working on the iPad again. I was having a hard time either being too loose with my drawing or too tight with my drawing. I was having a hard time being like in between. Uh, but at this point I had started to get more into the swing of things, but it still felt kind of off. For a while, I did switch over to screen recording footage because my camera died and my other battery was still charging. I didn't want to wait for them, so I decided to just switch to screen recording. Uh, that being said, I'm going to switch over to the Ibis Paint footage because I don't know if I have enough to say about the whole process to last all of the footage. Uh, so yeah. The pose itself wasn't very difficult, but for some reason I was struggling with it, or more like the outfit. My first attempt looked very off, so I decided to draw the body and the arms even though a lot of the torso gets covered by the ruffle. I wanted to make sure everything under the clothing made sense before adding it in. I'm gonna be honest, for some reason I never really like drawing ruffles, they always confuse me. I like drawing clothing folds, but yeah, ruffles are never my friend. <laughs> so to help me out, I did a rough sketch first to plan out the shapes, and then did a clean up over that. This helped me better plan things out. In Reagan's description, she mentioned that the right arm has the thumb being covered by the dress. And for some reason, I just couldn't make sense of that with the way I drew things. It just kept feeling wrong to place the hand behind the skirt. So I placed it in front of the skirt instead. I know this won't be right in the end, but I prefer things at least make sense to me. And I'm sure once I see Reagan's, I'll understand the placement. <laughs> Also, it was kind of funny, I had such a hard time drawing the right sleeve and I was getting frustrated. But then when I took a break and came back the next day, I drew the sleeve in like two minutes. Never underestimate the power of a break. Now we are on to adding colors. I used a light purple for her dress, rose, and eyes. Her hair is lightly colored with the blue pencil. So yeah, pretty simple. Like I said, these are just sketches from her sketchbook, so they aren't fully colored or anything. I just went around and added colors where Reagan described them. I also added some shading with the same blue I used for the hair set to multiply. I also made the eyes look a bit more snazzy because it's the eyes and I have to. They are my favorite part. Oh, also Reagan didn't describe the background at all, but I made it a light pink to help the character stand out a little bit. I know her sketchbook paper is probably white, uh, but I wanted to make it pink, so I did. <laughs> okay, so here's the finished drawing. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out and I hope it's close to Reagan's but we won't check in to see how close I got until later on in the video. For now, we'll move on to the second drawing and also thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes that cover all kinds of topics. You may know Skillshare for classes in photography, film and video editing, and illustration, but did you know Skillshare has hundreds of career-focused classes too? I hope to focus more on productivity and balancing my life, work, and art. Thankfully, Skillshare has a bunch of classes that can help with this, like Productivity for Artists, Organizing Yourself for Success by Brooke Glaser, 
You'll learn a system to get organized and stay organized. Brooke will talk about time management tips and building habits that stick. You'll learn techniques for discovering motivation and inspiration when you don't have any. And you'll learn to deal with the distractions, procrastination, fear of failure, and frustration. By the end of this class, you'll have tricks up your sleeve to conquer whatever productivity challenges pop up in your way. What's super awesome is that you can try Skillshare for free. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. I highly recommend joining, and while you're there, you can even check out my class on Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to drawing. Now it's time for the second sketch that Reagan described to me, and here is some of what she had to say about it. I sketched this in orange. Pose type, full body. Gender, female. Age, teens. Head, looking at us almost straight on. Torso, she's leaning forward onto her arms. She is kind of doing the Japanese crouching slash squatting pose. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know what she meant by this. <laughs> legs, we can see both of her legs. Again, her body is facing the right. We can only see a little of her thigh because her skirt covers most of it. Arm. She has her hands resting against her chin. The left hand is higher than the right hand. Her elbows are resting against her knees. Hair. Her hair is long and is parted on the left side. Her hair curves out and then in at the bottom. Her bangs end right above her eyes and are slightly parted on the left side. Clothes. She is wearing a sweater with really long sleeves. We can't see her hands. The cuffs cover them. The cuffs have lines and the rim at the bottom is the same but thinner. She is also wearing a tennis skirt with a small white zigzag line at almost the bottom of her skirt. She is wearing high heel wedged loafers like the ones I just got. Yeah, Reagan just got high heel wedged loafers from like Goodwill or something. They're super cute. She is also wearing socks that go below her knees. So I'm going to be honest, you don't see it in the footage, but I was struggling with understanding this pose and also executing it. The character's pose was giving me trouble, especially since I don't draw poses like this super often, and I always struggle with squatting poses. To maybe help me better understand the pose, I went to Pinterest to find some crouching or squatting poses to use as reference. And as I was scrolling, I came across this picture, and when I saw it, I thought, oh, that seems pretty close. Maybe this can help me a bit. And as I looked at the picture, I noticed more and more how much it matched Reagan's description. It had the same pose. We can't see the hands. She's wearing heel loafers. I was kind of in shock. I was like, did I just find the picture Reagan used as a reference? <laughs> and I do know that Reagan often goes on Pinterest to find pictures to do post studies of in her sketchbook. I just wasn't expecting to find the picture that she most likely used. This is the first time this has happened when we've done this. And I want to clarify, I wasn't trying to cheat at this. I legit just wanted a reference for the squatting pose of the legs but I got a whole reference for the pose itself and of course I wasn't going to not take advantage of this. <laughs> also, I did tell Reagan about this. I wasn't going to, but I just had to tell her and I wanted to confirm whether it was her reference or not. And uh, spoiler, it was her reference. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we may talk about this more with Reagan later. Anyways, I've been working on the sketch some more. Also, I drew the expression how Reagan described it. She is smiling at us with a pleasant, sweet smile. Her eyebrows are tilted up and her eyes are rounded and are a hill shape and a little flat on the bottom from her smiling. Having a reference for this pose was super helpful, but I tried my best to not copy it since Reagan described some parts differently. I tried not to forget about Reagan's description, but yeah, drawing this pose without the reference would have been much more tricky for me. Having the picture to refer to for the pose was really nice. I was able to judge the distances better and have a better understanding of how the different parts of the body are appearing and interacting with each other. Also, overall, it was a very fun pose to draw. A part that kept throwing me off a bit was the fact that we can't see the hands. I kept feeling like I drew the arms too long and I had to keep reminding myself that the hands were being covered. And when I would remember that, I felt like they looked okay. Drawing the skirt was actually really fun too. I feel like drawing the ruffles on the other sketch helped me feel more ready for the skirt of this one. Plus I had the reference. You'd be amazed how much having a reference can help. <laughs> it was especially helpful for the legs and feet. I always find the way the legs and feet go in these kind of positions to be really confusing. I was also trying my best to make it so the feet don't look broken. I think I was able to find a good balance. Hopefully they don't look broken. <laughs> Also, I really like the shoes. They are so cute. I would totally wear them if I could walk in heels. I mean, I'd probably be okay in this type of heel since it's thicker, but I still prefer flats. 
I got a pair of lacy ballet flats to wear for my wedding. However, they are a little pinchy, so I'm not sure if they will be comfy for the whole day. So I also have a backup pair of white lace-up shoes that I can switch to. They're kind of like little tennis shoes. My dress is full length, so people won't really see my shoes anyways, so I don't really care. <laughs> a part of me wanted to get really pretty sparkly shoes, but like no one's gonna see them. <laughs> so once the sketch was done, I was thinking about moving on to a cleanup sketch, but I felt like the sketch would become too clean and I'm supposed to keep it kind of sketchy. So instead of totally going over the sketch again, I decided to just clean up this one with the eraser. This part was actually kind of fun. I enjoyed going around with the eraser and cleaning things up. It kind of reminded me of when I do digital painting. Oh, also, I've been working on getting my office set up. I got the second standing desk set up. I have one standing desk at home, but I got another one to use as a secondary table for recording traditional art. It's really fancy and I like it. It has a lighter wood top on it. I thought about making it my main desk, but it doesn't have holes in the desktop to run my wires through. So I decided it'd be better to keep my computer on the desk it's currently on. Also, my fiance has been setting up his trains in the office. We kind of split the office in half because it's the only bonus room we have in the apartment. So he has a train table on one side and I have my work set up on the other side. He's setting up the end scale trains. They are pretty tiny, so I think they're super cute. He also has a ton of tiny buildings and stuff and I'm looking forward to seeing it all done. So once the cleanup was done, it was time to add colors. Reagan said she colored the sketch with orange. So I clipped a layer to my sketch and went over it with orange. This is when I learned that I accidentally used white to erase some of my sketch. And that wasn't good because now that I've clipped a layer to it, it's turning orange. And to fix this, I inverted the colors on my sketch so I could see just the white and erase it. This was a bit tedious, but it felt like the easiest way to make it so I can turn my sketch orange. For the colors, Regan said that the eye skirt and shoes are orange. The hair is a little lighter of an orange than the rest. The right leg is filled in with a light yellow. So yeah, I did as she described. This part's pretty boring since I'm just filling things in, so I'll kind of skip over it. But I did also use some of the yellow to add some shading. I added a decent amount around the torso to better express its form. Also, once again, I have to make the eyes more fancy. I lightened the color by the bottom and sketched in some lines for shading. Lastly, for the background, there is a peach color around her scribbled in a kind of round shape. And she has little white highlights in her hair, kind of like in My Next Door Neighbors. It was a bit funny because I added the highlights to the hair in this way before reading the description. <laughs> so when I read that, I was happy. I was like, oh, I was supposed to do this. <laughs> Okay, so now both drawings are done. I'm going to go grab Reagan and we will see how closely I was able to recreate her pictures. Okay, so I have Reagan here with me. Hi. And so we'll see how close I got to Reagan's pictures. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> Is it close? It's basically the same. Oh my word. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, I know I had the reference, but like, it is really close. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the main difference is that, like, did I forget to say how her hair goes back out at the end? Uh, you said it goes out and then in. Oh, okay. I should have put out again. Oh, mm-hmm. Because of how my shape is for her hair. Mm-mm. Yeah, the hair shape is a little different, but overall it's really close. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. So here's the second picture. <laughs> is this one close? Kind of. But not quite. Mm. For mine, her entire dress is just purple. Oh, okay. And how she's holding the rose is different. Oh, I see. Yeah, and mine does the M part, I think I described. Yeah, you see, I noticed that when I was reading through the script and I point that out. But then when I first interpreted as the bangs are making an M shape. So, yeah. It's a close. And yours also cuts off the dress at the end. Yeah, I didn't know we could see the bottom of the dress. Because you just said we couldn't see the legs. So I figured we couldn't see the bottom of the dress either. Yeah, because I said the dress is short. So I thought like... Yeah, I was wondering about that. I was like, how is the dress short? How would we know if we can't see the bottom? <laughs> yeah. So I probably should have said you can see the bottom of the dress. But I thought it would be kind of something you just like assume because you... Mm. How else would you know the length of the dress? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close, but very different vibes, I feel like. Yeah, I feel like they're very different in a way, but like definitely similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyways, we'll 
look back at this one. So yes, this one, very close. <laughs> very close. I feel like she has a very similar look in her eye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're very much the same vibe. This one is like similar, but I feel like has very different vibes for some reason. Mm-hmm. But it's still closer than the last time we did this, I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, it is closer. So last time was kind of close and then basically completely off. Mm-hmm. Purdue, this is basically dead on and very close. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I look forward to seeing you redraw my pictures on your mm-hmm. video <laughs> and how that turns out. So yeah, I got super close with one of them and the other one was also pretty close but also felt pretty different at the same time but I do still feel like it went a lot better than last time, so that's good. Go over to Reagan's channel if you wanna see her redraw my art from description only. And so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye!